Jules Jordan, and um, I attended the New Student Dialogue, um, Are You There, God? A Dialogue on Religion and Spirituality. And um, it was in the stadium suites, and when we got there, there was two leaders, and they began by introducing themselves, and we went around and introduced ourselves, and then um, the first thing that they had us do was an icebreaker, and they got us to all all be sitting down and one person stood up and said I like hockey and if you liked hockey you would stand up and go hook onto arms with him and say I like something else and so we we're forming connections with other people in the room um, and that's what we did and then after we all had been hooked in the circle um, they said okay now sit down where you are so we had to sit by people that we didn't know so we were uncomfortable and it was awkward at first and it was kind of weird and um but it was a good way to split us all up. And then after that, we talked about, we categorized our lives and we talked, said what, what defines us really and like what we want to define us, whether it's religion or our gender or our race or um, our education or where we're from or our family, whatever it is that we find to define us and whatever it, and then we talked about what it is that we want to define us. And for mine, I said that, um, I think that a lot of times, like, where I come from defines me, my family. Um, I let that define me a lot, like, where I'm from, the um, how blessed I am to have the things that I have, and I let that define me, but I want my faith to define me. I want my religion to define me. That's the most important thing in my life, and um, being a Christian for me is the most important thing, so I want that to be the thing that defines me the most. Um, and I hope that other people can see that in me. And so we talked about that for a while, and everyone shared. Um, at first it was really awkward, and not many people were sharing things, so it was just kind of quiet. But um, after a while, people started speaking up, and it got better. Um, then after that, they split us up into smaller groups of random people. They went around and counted, and so you weren't with people that you knew or even the people you'd been sitting with and had just been able to talk to for a second. You were with completely new people, and they gave everyone um, they gave everyone a different religion, and you had to say what you thought, like what stereotypes you had about that religion, which was really awkward because you because there's people in the room that were of that religion and um so it was weird at first and our leaders one was jewish and one was an atheist and um that was really cool to see that it wasn't being like i guess when i read the title of the the thing i figured that it was going to be a christian based led um talk about spirituality but that's so false and it was really awesome to get to be with people that were of different religions that were atheists that were jewish that were catholic that were christian that were all these different things and i just thought that was really neat so we all split up and we all um in our groups wrote down the stereotypes of different religions and my group had atheist and agnostic and i really didn't know that much about it um so i just had like weird stereotypes in my head that i had always assumed of people that were of that religion and um they were completely false, and I was proven. We were just shown how false we were by this guy that was leading us, and it was really cool to have him talk to us about what he believes and why he believes what he believes, and the truth behind that, and um, and how the stereotypes that we had were so false about it. And we talked about all the religions, and um, I thought that it was really good. And I really do think that our group did a really good job of achieving true dialogue towards the end. At first, it was super awkward and the leaders were just talking to us and we'd kind of nod our heads and smile and be like, yeah, I agree, or that's good, or whatever. But towards the end, everyone was actually chiming in and it was really cool to see the different people from different areas. Like, we were all from different places. We all had different religions. We all came from different backgrounds. And it was so cool to see how we all came together to talk about spirituality in general not in a specific religion and how I think more I liked about it was that it talked it really like humbled me um to stop stereotyping people that I don't know and stop stereotyping things before I've actually studied it and it actually encouraged me to want to go and study different religions because I just think that that's important that you don't only know about yourself that you know about other people so you don't just have prejudgments of them and um I really thought that our group dynamic was great, and I think that we did a really good job, um, especially towards the end of really all chiming in and all being a group together. Um, there were definitely people that spoke more than others in our dialogue, but I think that's just because some people were more shy, and um, the active voices in our dialogue were there's three boys and three girls that were talking this, that like always had something to say and would always keep it going, and 
but would make everyone feel involved and everyone feel comfortable. So I think that we were really blessed with a great group of people who was really interested in making sure that everyone was involved in the conversation. Um, there were definitely people that were more reserved in our dialogue that didn't want to speak as much, but, um, but it was cool when they would speak up to hear what they had to say, um, because they hadn't said much the whole time. So it was all, that was really neat. Um, in my dialogue, I spoke a good bit, um, because I've always had a big opinion on spirituality and on faith, and that's always been very important to me. So I've always had something to say about it. So, um, it was easy for me to step up and I just, I love getting in good conversations and I love being humbled. I love having someone put me in my place um, when I am, when I'm being judgmental or having stereotypes of someone and they, they tell me like how wrong I am. I, I really like that because I feel like that's a really great way to teach people and that's a really great way to learn and that's a really great way to grow. And um, so I talked probably more than most of the girls in my dialogue. Um, and um I think that this new student dialogue was important um, to Library 100 because I really do think that it helps you to coming into college is such a different world, especially for me. I went to an all-girls private school, and most of the girls I went to school with were Christians, and um, there was like 60 of us in our graduating class, and it was really small, and so it was it was a blessing to have, like, to go in here, and I'm in this whole new community now. There's so many people that go to school at Clemson, and it's so diversified, and it's just such a bigger pool, and it was so neat to just see all the different things, and to just have my stereotypes completely, like, wiped clean, and, like, taken away, and seeing, like, how awesome it is to get to learn about other people, and learn about what they believe, and learn about where they come from. Um, so I really do think that it's a really good, unique part of the Clemson experience, and um, even though everyone, I feel like, talks about how they dread going to the New Student Dialogue and that it's stupid, um, because it is a long period, you have to sit there for two hours, and that does kind of seem like a waste of time, but, like, reflecting on it, I really do think that it was a good thing for us to have to do, because I definitely learned a lot about myself, and I learned a lot about the people around me at Clemson, and how, um, I really need to be um, less stereotypical and less judgmental of people before I get to know them, before I get to know who they are, because your religion doesn't define you. Um, not for everyone, at least. It shouldn't be the defining factor in your life. Like, you shouldn't look at someone and say, oh, because they're this religion, this is how they are, because that's not always true. Um, they, they could be totally opposite of what you think, so I just think that it's really important to actually get to know people, and that's what I learned in my new student dialogue.